Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. The day after, the day after analyze, you know, normally the standard or the format I want to do is review the game that we had and I want to put ratings on the player who played well, who played bad, but I will be honest with you, I will change the format this time. Why? Because nobody deserves more than five, nobody. So. I change the format and I will explain you why. Since yesterday night, or actually from the first half on, I see everywhere on Twitter, on YouTube, on my channel, I see and I receive a lot of comments with hashtag Sarri out, hashtag Ronaldo out, hashtag uh, Paratici out, uh, hashtag Matuidi out. So everyone out, hashtag out, hashtag out. I will tell you something. I'm not hashtag Sarri, Matuidi, Paratici or Ronaldo out. I am more like hashtag Juve fix it. And I will explain you why I will go in detail why we don't have to put one person responsible for it. And it's simple. It's because all of them has shared responsibilities from the management to the coach, to the player, to the world of Juventus. Everyone is responsible for what's happening now. And it's not since yesterday. So I will begin with... Um, one important thing is actually Sarri, explaining about Sarri. Sarri is a coach, he didn't go to Juventus alone. Somebody has chosen him. And I remember the words of Agnelli, who was saying that the people that has chosen um, Sarri should be responsible at the end of the day for the decision that they made. He was not 100% uh, convinced about it, but they did it. What are the, the good things about Sarri? Actually, the good things about Sarri is that he's a guy who has confidence in him. Uh, it's a guy who, um, I, I will defend him a bit because the, the team that we constructed, that we build around him, is not a Sarri, skillful team. The players he has, especially in the midfield, are not the player he's used to play with. So Sarri has adapted to Juventus at that point. And you cannot blame Sarri for ha not having the right tools. You know, If we ask you to win the Formula 1, but we give you a Fiat 500, you will never win against a Ferrari. Okay, Not that the players of Juventus are bad, absolutely not. But because Fiat 500 is not a bad car. It's a good car, but it's not to win the Formula One. And that's the same thing. We have good players, but they are not meant to play the Sarri ball. So that's a bit my defense for Sarri. What's the problem with Sarri? Sarri is stubborn. I will be honest. He's stubborn. He stick to, to his 4 3, three and to his Sarri ball. And we saw it yesterday also. Possession, possession, possession without creativity. We don't have the players to play your Sarri ball. You have to pay attention to that because it will never work. So instead of doing a 4-3-3, three, three, if you would have kept Emre Chan instead of going into war with him, we could have played today a 4-2-3-1 with Matuidi and Emre Chan in the midfield. That could have been a solution. 3-5-2 three, uh, three, is another solution with all the defense that we had before injuries. So the stubbornness of Sarri is a problem so he has a 50 50 50 of things it's not his fault 50 of uh percentage is his fault about his stubbornness then we go to ronaldo ronaldo in ronaldo out i believe and i will say it ronaldo i am honored to have him at juventus he did a lot for us especially if we speak about brand commerciality and all you know the the growth of juventus as a brand as a club uh it did amazing thing he plays amazing games atletico madrid and so on he's a top scorer for juventus so i respect him his career and he's probably the best player in the world together with uh messi no doubt about that but, and that's really important, he's paid 30 million a year net in his pocket. That means that Juventus is even paying more. And I am someone who believes that until the last day that you are paid by a company, you need to prove yourself. So I don't agree with people who are saying he doesn't have to prove nothing because he did. No, it's not true. You have to constantly prove yourself every day, day in, day out, as I have to do for my work. I need to prove myself. Otherwise, they will dismiss me. And that's the same for Ronaldo and for all the other players we have. So the good things about Ronaldo, yes, is probably the best player uh, from Juventus. He is, without doubt. He did a lot of things for Juventus. Yes. Uh, is he still the best player? Yes. He's immense, but 
pay attention because the last two games were a disaster and a player with 30 million a year he, he needs to perform day in day out so that's about ronaldo then we go to matwidi in matwidi out sorry guys you cannot blame matwidi He's not skillful in terms of first touch control, in terms of passing, but the guy is fighting every day. And that is skill. I believe that Matuidi is the player we need to have in a team, but not with the Sari ball. It's not matching each other. The task we are asking to Matuidi today are not the one that he can do. So can you blame a player for not being able to do what the trainer asks him if he doesn't have the skills? No. And Matuidi... To be honest, he's not the worst one of our midfield. He's just, you know, a player who's there, who's trying the, uh, his best, and I respect him a lot for that. So I'm not a Matuidi out, but let's see the 360 degree of our midfield. Remember, we had Pirlo, Vidal, Pogba, and even Marquisio for three spots. Immense player, and the management was never able to replace them because we went for free transfers we paid a lot of salary we were not even able to sell them anymore and we never fixed that problem i'm sure matwidi can be in the 25 players he can be a really great sub and play a lot of uh, of games he cannot be the starter of juventus especially not with uh, sari so that's about our midfield who is a disaster that's the biggest disaster we have today it's our midfield and we need to fix it and then we go to the paratici out uh, no, I don't agree with that. For me, it's still one of the best in the world that we have. Uh, but it's true. He also has his responsibility. He was able to sign Ronaldo, Delich, Demiral. He's also the guy that, uh, you know, talked about uh, Vidal in the past. So he's a real great, talented uh, manager. But um, a lot of players are saying, yes, but Kedira, but this. Okay, don't forget, when you take over, promises has been made by past management that's always something from when you take a new job you have to deal with consequences of what happened before and he was not in charge so uh, Mandzukic, Kedira, all those players received the renew before appointing Paratici and he had to deal with that if the players at a certain moment doesn't want to leave the strategy changed. Don't forget we were linked so hard with Guardiola true or not true it you know if you have a plan and at the end you have so many players who doesn't want to leave, it's really difficult to build from the first year that you are responsible um, a new team. So I forgive him, but he has also his responsibilities because at the end he's in charge and someone has to pay for it. So pay attention, Paratici, because uh, you will need to fix it. And especially the midfield. I'm confident in one thing. Since the lockdown, we are speaking about Mercato day in, day out, and we are always speaking about midfield names. Okay? So the midfield is the priority of Juventus. I hope that the COVID-19 uh, financial impact will not be too big for Juventus because that can change a lot. You know, if we had as a main target Pogba, for example, in the midfield, and we, we are not able to afford him anymore... Who will we take to fix our midfield? So that's a big problem. And the same thing for our forward, because Ronaldo is on the left and we have only Higuain that even, also him, he didn't want to leave, uh, but he has no replacements now injured. And then we have other problem, it's the injuries. Sami Kedira, six million a year, he never played. And when we were speaking about him, or Sari was speaking about him, uh, like a really smart man and needed in the field and out the field, the time that he can play as a starter, again, injured. Same as Chiellini, sorry for El Capitano, but again, injured. Ramsey, crystal player, um, also always injured and not ready. Yesterday, he played five minutes or ten minutes. So that's a big problem of injuries. We have to pay attention. And if we want to sign Milik, pay attention. He's injury prone. So I would really start to, to think about it how and what player you buy and look at the history of injuries even if it can only ha always happen but pay attention so finishing the video with what now so i hope people understand that when you do a sari out like you did the allegri out you always see the pros and the contrast it's not it's never the fault of one people alone but now it's time to fix it we have 12 games to play in a Serie A we have one to start with in Champions League and maybe a few other ones to the final <coughs> 
sorry, let's see how we will finish this season. But we need to wake up. I need, and I hope until the end of the season, where we are not even able to change players, because that's the reality, that we see the Grinta of Buffon, what he showed yesterday at 42 years old, with an immense Palmares as player. That's what I want to see in every player, because that's Juventus, that's Fino alla fine. We need to wake up. I, I hate when we said we have to learn from that defeat, or we have to learn from uh, bad performance, because how many times are we repeating that? No, guys, wake up today. From now, you have to wake up and finish with La Grinda, with the Fino alla fine. That's what I ask you. And from next season on, we will have to take bold decisions, okay? Or we keep Sari and we buy players for him. I would even say, go for Jorginho. I don't care if that's the player he needs. Go for it, even I, if I'm not a big fan of Jorginho. But fix that midfield, fix that striker, do something, but... Ask Sari if he's okay with the players we buy. That's the first thing. If you don't believe in Sari and if you don't want to go for it, okay, go away with Sari. Find a player who can play with the team we have or with the new team that we will build. Super important. That's what some, something that I really ask, but fix the problems we have. That's what I ask you, Juve. Fix Fix it, fix it, fix it. And I will never be a Sari out, Paratici out, Matuidi out, Ronaldo out. No, but fix Fix it. That's what I ask you. Fix it because the world is watching you. Thank you. And I will start showing the good example. Fino alla fine. Ciao.